Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel, Cedric here in Antwerp with another brew review and well it's been a while so today we are going to talk about another Spanish beer, I still have some left in my stock, today we are going to talk about Ambar Especial. Uh, Ambar Especial is a very classic crisp lager brewed according to the Reinheitsgebot actually um, and that might be because it is brewed by uh, La Zaragozana in Zaragoza, in Aragon, in Spain. And their very first brewmaster was German. Uh, but we are going to talk about that in another video when I uh, unveil the history of the brewery. Now, this beer is their flagship beer. This is the one you see everywhere, uh, from bars to supermarkets. Um, yeah. What can I tell you about this? It did get a rebranding in, uh, I believe, 2020-ish. Uh, before that, they had very, very classic labels. Um, they rebranded it to this, a bit simpler, a bit, um, yeah, less, less busy, a bit less chaotic. However, um, if you see the bottles or the commercial plaques for this beer, uh, I kind of thought it was a commercial for Marlboro. Uh, with the white and the red and the triangle but nonetheless um, this isn't their oldest beer but it is their best seller it is brewed with uh, well only malted barley no other grains and they did use uh, as they say um, pale and semi toasted malts And this beer is very clear, but when it comes to color, you actually can see that influence of that semi-tostada uh, malt. And you know that tostada is very popular in, in Spain. So this does have that um, yeah, golden yellowy color leaning towards orange even. Uh, Nice white foam, some rather large bubbles, uh, a lot of carbonation is present. Nice, yeah, I'd say off white foam actually. And just like many, many Spanish beers, um, this smells slightly bitter, but mainly very malty, slightly sweet. Uh, but of course, oftentimes they don't taste very sweet, but they do smell very malty. A lot of uh, hop aromas. Now, they do put it on the can here. Cerveza Lupolo Recién Molido. Um, so, a beer with um, yeah, hops from new ground, as they say. And they do grow their own hops and their own uh, barley or their own uh, grains in general. Maybe one thing that I can tell you about this uh, design of the can. Cerveza especial con lúpulo recién molido envasada a uno grado uh, Celsius y fermentada a baja temperatura. So basically they say this is a special beer with uh, hops from the new grounds. Um, lagered at one degree Celsius, uh, Celsius or centigrade and fermented at low temperature because this is of course a lager and that brings us to a nice crisp beer of 5.2 percent abv which is actually spot on uh, pretty much every belgian pilsner or lager and if you guys are watching from the uk uh, i know stella artois is like 4.6 or 4.8 uh, where you guys are but yeah hate to break it to you we get the five of the 5.2 uh, that's a b and Beth. cheers taste as expected um <clears throat> a nice medium thin to medium mouthfeel and carbonation is present but not disturbing but the taste the the 
initial taste is a lot of hop aromas. It is quite bitter, it is quite dry, it is well fermented. Um, not a lot of sugars left, although we do have that uh, slightly sweet, yeah, there's a, s a small uh, hint of sweetness in the beer that, that actually tops it off. Um, and you do taste a bit of roasty flavors. So that might be from the semi tostada uh, malts, even though I didn't expect to taste those. Uh, but they go well together with the uh, with the hops. So the hop aromas, the the ISO alpha acids, uh, acids, and and the roasty flavors go hand in hand, and they actually uh, lift each other up. Like I said, very crisp, very dry, also very refreshing. Uh, yeah, very nice summer beer. Very, very drinkable. And I think that is the strength of these beers, not only Ambar Especial, but every... Um, let's call it local Spanish lager, because I know that uh, Ambar or the Zaragozana, they're a relatively large brewery, but they actually only have like two of two, three, four percent of the market share in Spain. And yeah, a huge part of what they brew is sold within Zaragoza or within Aragon. But they do manage to keep the others out. So they are doing something well. And while tasting this, they also have an, a bunch of other beers, but we are going to talk about that in the brewery video. Um, yeah, when I taste this, I see why there is no need to get beers from other regions. I'd say this is, uh, as far as lagers go, nothing really special. But it is still very good, so it is a, um, let's say, a generic lager, like we have like 13 a dozen. Uh, but nonetheless, a very nice beer. So, how would I rate this beer? Um, yeah, let's call it an even three, like most lagers. Uh, now, I am going to enjoy this a bit further. Sun's not out, but yeah, it's still summer, so time for a summer's beer as usual if you guys like this video let me know hit the thumbs up uh, leave a comment down below if you want to support this channel uh, just share a video somewhere with your friends and yeah if you want to see more subscribe hit the bell icon and you'll be the first to know whenever i upload something which should be monday wednesday and friday i hope at uh, 6 p.m local time so see you in the next one cheers